Today we're going to show you how to change the micro switch on the dispenser on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All you need is a putty knife, a Phillips screwdriver, and a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now because we'll be working near some electrical circuits on this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is disconnect the power to the refrigerator. Simply pull the plug. Now our first step will be to remove the escutcheon around the dispenser. So we'll start with a putty knife. And being very careful that we don't mar the paint, we'll just lift up a little bit on one edge, enough to slide that blade in underneath the end, and depress the locking tab. And there are four tabs on each side, they're equally spaced down both sides. So we'll come up until we find the next one, and gently depress that. And that will give us a little bit of leverage to release the ones on the opposite side. You can set the scutcheon aside. And next we're going to remove the control assembly. Now it's held in place with a couple of locking tabs on the bottom. So if we lift up gently on it and pull forward on the bottom, we can disengage those two locking tabs. We can drop it down and that will give us access to the harness connectors on the back that we need to disconnect. So lift the locking tabs on those, pull the harnesses loose. And we can set the control board aside. Next with our Phillips screwdriver, we'll remove three Phillips head screws that hold that assembly in place. And just pull that forward. Remove the two harnesses that are attached to the refrigerator and we can set that on a suitable work surface. Now that we have the dispenser assembly on a suitable work surface, we'll next need to remove the switch from that assembly. It's held in place with a couple of locking tabs and it sits down into a little square uh, box affair that holds it straight. So while gently pulling up on the wires at the rear of the switch, we'll depress one of those tabs and just tilt the switch slightly, reach in and depress the other one. And then we can lift the switch right out. We'll next remove the wire terminals from it. And if they're a little tight, just take their needle nose pliers and gently pry them off. Discard the old switch. Take our new switch. Reinstall the terminals. Make sure they fit snugly on there. If they don't, just crimp them with your needle nose pliers. Now we'll line that switch up, making sure the lever is down, center it between the locking tabs, and then make sure it fits squarely into that box, snap it into place, and we're ready to reinstall the assembly. Now we're ready to reinstall the dispenser assembly, so we'll lift the two harnesses out of the way, slide the assembly into place. Place the Phillips screws that secure it. Next we'll reconnect the wire harnesses to the control board. Slide them in underneath the locking tabs. Make sure they lock firmly in place.
Then we'll engage this top tab on the controls along this rail here. Tuck it up into place and press in on the bottom until both the locking tabs engage. And we're ready to put the escutcheon back on. So we line up the four locking tabs on either side. Snap them into place. Next, we'll reconnect the power and our repair is complete.